Hey there, Smoke Master D, coming at you with a video entitled "Is the Rectech 1070 a Good Deal?" Updated, frowny face. Um, so I had another video with the same title almost and a thumbs up emoji there, and that is gone now. And a few things to tell you about why that is. Number one, made a barbecue buyer's guide to stainless steel pellet grills. Then number two, I made a follow-up video about the Rectech 1070 when I learned about it. Number three, I gave that Rectech 1070 a hearty recommendation. Number four, I learned that Rectech gave me false information during my research for the video. Thus, the frowny face. All right, and now to explain how that happened. All right, so here we are on June 19th, 2022. My first question, how much does the cabinet weigh? My second question is the one that this really concerns is the stainless steel that makes up the body of the chamber 304 stainless steel or another grade. So that is the question. And lastly, I asked about a double wall here we have barrett's answer hey david the cabinet for the rt 1070 will weigh around 45 pounds and it is made with the same material same material as the actual chamber of the smoker our models are not double walled for extra insulation but with our heavy duty stainless steel you won't have any issues with maintaining temperatures in any environment barrett so he didn't mention what kind of stainless steel it was. Of course, you know, I thought maybe he just left that out. So I asked next, what grade stainless steel is it made from? And he says, the 304 stainless, exclamation mark. If he was talking about the base being 304, in his first message to me, he said that the base and the chamber were the same kind of stainless steel. So... I made an episode about the 1070 and I said it was made of 304 stainless steel. And so I gave him a thumbs up. He gave me a thumbs up. And then this last Saturday, now in August, I sent him a different message. And this came after a thousand people, more than a thousand people had watched my episode on the RT 1070, somebody put in the comments that it wasn't 304 stainless steel. So I messaged them back. And this was my message. I've heard that several parts of the RT 1070 are made of 430 stainless steel, including the lid. Is this true? It is 304 and 430 stainless in our units. And that's Chad which parts are 430 the inside components so barrett told me one thing and now chad is telling me this i was under the impression that the inside components were 304 and the outside was 430. you are saying i have that backwards my apologies you are correct the barrel is 430 the inside components like the drip pan and fire pot and greats are 304 chad so now we have the truth of the matter and i want to apologize for my part in the misinformation that i spread from Rectech themselves uh this upsets me it upsets me that i would ask something and i would be misled even if it was a mistake they should know their stuff and if you bought one of these units, the RT-1070, after watching one of my videos saying that it was 304 stainless steel, and now you know that it's 430, I apologize. What's the big deal about 430 stainless steel? So to illustrate, I have this little video here. Uh, and this is a stainless steel knife from a set that we got as a wedding present. So I've been married nine years. I've had it nine years. 
And I can tell that it's 430 stainless steel because it's magnetic, right? There's a magnet stuck to it. Uh, but the, one of the differences between 430 stainless steel and 304 is that 430 is magnetic. The other is that 304 stainless steel has nickel in it, about 10%. And that 10% nickel helps to make it less uh, able to corrode. So it has more corrosion resistance. And if you look at my knife, right there on the edge, you're going to notice a little bit of corrosion. And when you look at that over nine years, maybe you're going to say, well, that's not very much, right? And, you know, this steel, this 430 stainless steel, it has corrosion resistance, but not as much as 304, which is a difference. And if I tell you, that there's that difference it matters to me and it should matter to you because you should know what you're getting so uh, i have made my original video unsearchable on youtube but i'm going to put a link in the description just in case you wanted to see it uh, but a couple of things came up even while i was making this before i knew about the whole 304 stainless steel uh that put some doubts in my mind. I glossed over those and gave it the good recommendation I did. But those two things were the square inches of the grill. Uh, and you can see my breakdown there, as well as questioning whether it could actually get up to the 700 degrees that it claimed it could. So all of those doubts have come roaring back to my mind. All right, would I still recommend the RT1070? So I know that you may not have watched my other video, but the Memphis Grills uh, Beale Street is also made from 430 stainless steel, but it has a double layer for its lid. Uh, and it is considerably more money probably because of that is is it still a good deal for the money for what it is the rt1070 is fine you know it may not last forever it may be the worst in its category but is it but is it still going to turn out some good food for you yes all right you know if it had been 304 stainless steel like i thought it was it would have been an amazing deal and it's not and so it's not, but it's still fine, all right? I'm not going to outright trash them just because of all of this. Uh, if you get this grill, it's going to do well. It's going to do what you need it to do. All right, so there it is. I'm going to let it rest. Uh, I hope this was informative to you. And uh, you know what? Whether you get this grill or not, Go get your smoke on, y'all.